customer service specialist here at Fly Scooters, and this is my Purple Swift. I thought it was really important for you to know what makes your scooter go from the inside out, so I asked the Fly Scooters crew if I could make the next video. This is exactly like my Purple Swift, just with most of the plastic stripped off so that you can see exactly what's happening on the inside. I bet you've all wondered how the speedometer works. Well, I'm here to show you. As you can see, on the back here, there's a cable, and it's connected to a gear inside this box. If we follow this cable all the way down, you'll notice that it's connected to a hub here, and inside that is another gear. As the wheel turns, the gear turns, turning the cable. If we come right on back up, it turns the gear inside this box, making the dial smooth. The next thing you'll find on your instrument box is the fuel gauge. And the fuel gauge is a little more complicated, so bear with me. On the back here, you'll see an electrical output. The electrical output is connected through the wiring harness, which goes all the way up here and goes into your fuel tank. It connects to a little device in your fuel tank, which looks a lot like what you'll find in the back of your toilet. As the fuel goes down, the ball drops, dropping your fuel gauge. As it goes up, it raises your fuel gauge. Ever wonder what happens when you press your starter button? Well, I'm going to show you. The first thing that happens is an electrical impulse is sent to your starter relay, which is located right here. From the starter relay, electricity is sent to the starter motor, which is located right here. Next to your starter relay, you'll find your CDI. The CDI's job is to get the spark plug to fire, which is located right in here. To finish up the electrical components, we're going to go over the rectifier, the resistor, and the stator. Starting with the rectifier. The rectifier's job is to turn direct current into alternating current. Next is the resistor, and the resistor controls the voltage. I bet you've always wondered how the scooter is powered. Which brings us right down here to the stator. Inside the stator is a flywheel, and this flywheel is magnetized. Inside of it are copper poles, so as it spins, it creates electricity, powering the rest of the bike. To wrap things up, every scooter is different, and you may find that these components are located in slightly different places. However, most modern scooters are going to have all of the components that we talked about. All fly scooters are four-stroke engines. It's pretty easy to remember how a four-stroke engine works. It's suck, squeeze, burn, blow. Air from the air filter and fuel from the gas tank are sucked into the carburetor where they're mixed. They then travel to the engine where they're squeezed by a piston. The burn comes from a spark from the spark plug. Then it's blown out the exhaust, which is right down here. Usually there's a muffler directing the exhaust this way, but we've taken that off to show you the stator. Next I'm going to show you how the engine makes your wheel turn. This is a crankshaft. The crankshaft is inside right here. It's attached to the piston, which is inside the engine, as well as being attached to the variator, which is right here. This is also a variator, and it goes just like this. As the piston moves up and down inside the engine, it spins the variator. As the variator spins, as you can see right there, it turns this belt. This belt is attached to this piece, which is called a clutch. As the belt turns from the variator, it also turns the clutch, therefore turning the wheel. Next, we're going to break down the variator. The variator is made up of two discs that look like this. When you're parked, the discs are in this position. As you move faster, they move closer together. I'm going to show you why that happens. Underneath this plate are roller weights. As the variator turns, these roller weights are pushed outwards due to centrifugal force. When they're pushed outwards, it causes this plate to move upwards, which then causes the belt to open, changing the ratio between the variator and the clutch. Now that you know how your fly scooter works from the inside out, we're going to go over some of the fun stuff. There's a lot of products you can purchase after you buy your scooter to really improve the performance. We recommend Martin Racing performance products, some of which have been featured in this video. 
Also, if you want to check out their website for a live video of how a CVT works, it's www.mrp-speed.com. Thank you so much for checking out my video. I hope it was educational. If you have any other questions, give us an email at info at flyscooters.com. And don't forget to check out our website, www.flyscooters.com. Be safe out there and happy riding.